Welcome. All right, so on this example, what we need to do is classify our polynomial and determine the degree and the leading coefficient. So the main important thing, though, is we need to make sure that we have our exponents in descending order. Well, here we have an exponent of 2. Here it's not written, so we have an exponent of 1. Here I don't even have an x, so I could write this as x to the 0 power. So now I need to rewrite this, which we call in descending order, so we can determine the degree and classify the polynomial. All right. Now, we really don't need to write the 1 up here, but I just want you guys to see how this goes down in descending order. x to the 0 is just 1, so it'll just leave us with 8. And we don't need to write x to the 1. But now we have our polynomial in descending order, where we can determine the degree. And remember, the degree is the largest exponent of your polynomial. And a lot of students get this mixed up with your leading coefficient. Just because 5 is greater than 2, 5 is your leading coefficient, 2 is your degree. OK? So now, since we have our highest degree as our degree, we know that when we have a degree of 2, that we can classify the polynomial as a quadratic. I know it has three terms. That means it's a trinomial. However, we're only concerned when classifying our polynomial, we classify it by the degree, not the number of terms. So in this case, we have a quadratic polynomial. Thanks.